Hi everybody. Today I will show you how to create gallery in WordPress. So let's just begin. So first of all, you have to log in into your WordPress account and after that, we'll simply create a new post. So I will simply go inside the old post here and from here, I will just simply click on the add new and you will be inside the block editor of the WordPress. Okay, so first of all, let's just give the title of our post. Now we will learn to create the gallery in the WordPress. So all you need to do is to click on the add icon here. And from here, all you need to do is to search for the gallery here. Okay, so as you can see that we have these two galleries, the gallery and the image gallery. So let's click on the gallery and click on the upload. And now you can see that we have the upload and the media library. So if you want to upload the file or the image, from your computer or the laptop, you can simply go with the upload. Otherwise, if you've already uploaded the image and they are in the media library, you simply click here. Okay, so we have the images in the media library. So I just simply pick the images from here. Okay, so I would go with this, this, and this. Okay, and I just simply go with this. Okay, so we have selected the six different images here. So let's click on the create a new gallery. And from here, you can add the caption to your image. So here it would be the baby tiger. And this would be the vehicle. And you can also add the caption to other images here as well. Okay, so now let's just click on the insert gallery. And now you can see that we have added the six different images into our gallery. So two of these images have the caption that we have added. So you can simply add the caption to all of these images by yourself. Okay, so now let's click on the gallery here. So now you can see that in the gallery, we can set the number of the columns. So right now we have the three number of the columns. So that simply means we would have the three images in the single column. So if you decrease the value here to the two, you would have the two images in the column. And in the similar way, if you want to increase the number of the images in the column, you can also do this in this way. Okay, so this is how you can change the number of the columns here. And we also have the option to crop the images. So if I just disable this, you can see that our images are not cropped. So this will actually make our gallery uh, not looking uh, aligned. So if I just enable this, you can see that thumbnails are cropped to align. Okay. So after that, we have the link to. So the link to simply means that whenever I click on the image, it should direct to the attachment page or the media file or the none. So right now, I just simply click on the media file. And now we have the option to open in the new tab. So it simply means that when I click on the image, whether I want to open that image in the new tab or the current image. Okay. And after that, we have the image size. So you can change the size of the image from here. So we also have this masonry gallery. So if I just enable this, you can see the change in the layout of our gallery. So if I just decrease the gap here, you can see the difference here. Okay. But right now, I will just simply disable this. Okay, so we also have the advanced settings. So in the advanced settings, we have the HTML anchor. And if you want to add the additional styling to our gallery, you can simply do it from here by adding the additional CSS classes. So we also have this responsive conditions. So if you want to hide the gallery on the desktop, tablet or the mobile, you can simply do it from here. Okay, so these are actually the settings of our gallery. So if I just click on the styles here, you can actually change the background color of your gallery. You can increase the block uh, spacing if you want to. So if I just change the value here, you can see this, we have this space between our images. All right, so this is how uh, we can change the block spacing here. Okay, so now let's just publish this. And let's just have a look at our post. Let me just close this from here. And I just want to go back to the dashboard. And we have opened our gallery here. So now you can see that we have this gallery images. So if I just click on the image, you can see that we have opened the image here, but we have the problem in this gallery of the WordPress because we don't see any option to close this image. So let's just go back by just clicking on this back button. So how can we solve this situation? So we can use the plugin for that. Okay, so now let's go back to our WordPress dashboard and we will simply go inside the plugin. And we will actually add the new plugin here. And name of the plugin is actually the Envira. Okay, so now you can see that we have this gallery plugin for the WordPress Envira for two gallery. Okay, so we can simply use this plugin to solve that issue. So if I just click on the install, and now let's click on the activate. 
you will be able to see that our plugin is activated in Vira Gallery Lite. And you can also see this in the sidebar. So let's click on the all galleries here. And from here, you can simply create the new gallery in the Envira gallery. But before that, let's just click on the add-ons. So these add-ons are actually the feature of the Envira gallery that you can have the videos add-on, albums add-on, and the WooCommerce add. We have the download, we have the pagination. You can also see that we have this full screen add-on and you can also explore the other options here so if i just scroll down you can also see that we have the social add-ons so this would actually share your images on the facebook twitter tested and other social networks okay so these are actually the part of the pro version of the envira gallery so if you want to explore or use these add-ons you have to upgrade to the envira pro but as we know that right now we just want to add the simple gallery so we'll simply go back into the all galleries and from here we will simply create the new gallery so click on the add new and let's just give a title to our gallery here so that is the envira gallery okay so you can simply upload the images from your computer or you can also select the images from the other sources so right now I just want to use the images that are in the media library. So I just simply click on the select files from the other sources. And from here in the media library, I will choose the images. Okay. So let's just select the images from here. All right. So I have selected the eight different images for our gallery here. So I just simply click on the insert into gallery. And this would actually create our Envira gallery for us. Okay. So from here, you can actually delete the image if you want to. And you can also edit the image. So if I just click on the modify image, you can see that I can change the title of the image and you can also add the alt text, which is really important for the SEO purpose. And you can see the URL of the image here. And if you want to open the URL in the new tab, you simply check on this option. Right now, I just simply uh, close this because I don't want to make any changes here. Okay, so now let's click on the config here. So in the config, you can actually set the number of the column. So if you just want to set the number of the columns automatically, you will simply choose the automatic value. And you can also see we can set the value to the single column, two, three, four, five, and the six. Okay. So if you want to enable the lazy loading, you simply keep this value. So the lazy loading actually helps you with the performance of your web page. So you can also explore the other options here. So right now, I just simply click on the light box. So Lightbox simply enable you to watch the image on the same page uh, in the full size and you can also close that image and you can also go through the other images with the help of Lightbox. All right, so I think we are good with these uh, default settings here. So right now I just click on the publish here and we have created our Envira Gallery. So right now I just simply go back into the post and from here we can simply go inside the gallery. So let's click on the edit. Okay, so you can see the gallery that we have created previously. So now we will simply use our Envira gallery here. But before that, I will actually like to use a separator here. Okay, so let's click on the separator. So now let's click on the add block. And from here, now you can see that you can simply search for the Envira gallery here. So you can simply click on the Envira gallery here. And from here, we have to select the gallery that we have created. So let's click on this drop down button and you can see that we have this Envira gallery that we have created. All right, so this is the gallery that we have created with the help of Envira gallery. And one more thing here that if you want to change the layout here, uh, you can choose the two column structure, three column structure. So let's click on the three column right now. And you can see that we have this structure. And if I just go back, and if I just click on the four column, now this is looking fine. And if I just enable the ISO top, you can see this, this is looking better. So you can also add the gallery margin. So right now we have selected the custom value, but if you want to go with this predefined values, you can simply go from here. So I simply click on the medium and that is looking okay. And after that, we have the light box theme. So that is actually the legacy. So we only have this single value here. And if I just go inside the advanced setting, you can see that in the advanced setting, we can add the additional styling to our gallery from here. And if you want to edit the gallery, you can simply do it from here. And now you can see that from here, we can actually edit our gallery. So let's post this. And now you can see that we have created our gallery with the Envira. So one thing here, you can also edit the gallery from here. And if you want to change the alignment, you can also do it from here. So we can do with the white width. 
and we can also go with the full width if you want to but right now i simply want to go with the none option here so now you can see this we can also drag our gallery from here as well and if i want to move up my gallery from here i can simply click here okay so the one thing that i missed in our previously created gallery so now you can see that we can actually move down our gallery from here and we can also drag this from here and if you want to change the alignment of the gallery you can also do it and if you want to add the caption you can simply do it from here and if you want to add the image you can simply do it from here and you can also explore the other options here so if i just click on the add here from here you can add the image into our gallery from here as well all right so this is how we can create the gallery so now let's just click on the update and go back to our gallery let's just click on the refresh here now you will be able to see the two galleries here the first one that we have created with the default and the second one that we have actually created with the plugin so if i just click on the images that we have created with the envira gallery you will be able to see that we have the functionality to close the image and you can also slide to the next image from here if you want to you can see the functionality here and it is making it more convenient to use the envira gallery here okay so let's close this and this is how we create the gallery in the wordpress and if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel